It is a new year. It's time to start setting goals. So what do you want to accomplish in 2023? <laughs> Greetings, everyone. Welcome to the underground lair where we bring our creations to life. I'm Scott with CircWorks Art Labs. I'm a professional illustrator, designer, and mad creator. And the reason why I've been able to make art and creativity a profession and a career is uh, largely because I set goals. And uh, now is a good time to do that because we are in a new year. It is 2023. And a lot of people around this time, they start thinking about you know the New Year's resolutions and things like that. I don't really, to me, a resolution is more like a wish there's nothing really behind it. Uh, I believe in taking more actionable goals, planning things out, and uh, and that has helped me, uh, like I said, make a career out of art. So uh, I want you to start thinking of your goals, and just to sort of inspire you, I'm going to give you some of mine and and talk about some of the plans that I have, you know, for this channel, for you know, 2023 as an artist for myself, and uh, and uh, so again, hopefully that will inspire you to create your own goals, and along the way, I'll. I'll talk a little bit about some of the techniques I, I do and things like that that helps me achieve those goals. So we'll get into that. I'm going to do another blueprint sketch while I'm while I'm talking, so you're not just seeing my face. You'll see some art happening and everything. But let's get into that right now. All right, goals for 2023. First off, let me talk a little bit about the kind of goals that I set. I like to set what are called SMART goals, and that's an acronym for specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and on a timeline. So just make sure you, your goals are specific. You know exactly what those goals are. You're not wishy-washy. You want to write them down and everything. Your goals are measurable. So you know how, you know, what amount of something you want to get done or, or how many a day or, or anything like that. There's some that, that it is measurable. Achievable, that, and achievable and realistic, I think, kind of go hand in hand. You want to make sure that, yes, it's something that you can achieve that's realistic for you to achieve. It's not just something out of the ordinary that, or it's so extraordinary that there's probably no way you could actually achieve it because, you know, when you achieve, the more goals you achieve, the more, and the more that kind of boosts your confidence and everything and that, that, you know, it's just like what I talk about when I'm talking about starting a comic. So, you know, sometimes start small. So if this is your first time really getting into the goal setting thing, don't make it too difficult for yourself because the, the more you achieve, the bigger you can set your goals and it just kind of goes from there. So make, make it achievable knowing that, you know, maybe next year or whatever, you can set larger goals that are even more, you know, maybe a little bit harder, but since you've achieved the, these goals, that's not that hard for you to make it a, a little more difficult, a little more, you know, a, a little more challenging, you know, stretch yourself. And uh, so achievable, realistic, and also on a timeline. So you want to say, oh, I'm going to do, uh, this is what I'm going to do, the measurable, measurable part by this time, this timeline. And uh, so anyway, that's what I like to think about. The other thing I'd like to throw in um, is, is be somewhat flexible, but don't use that as sort of a crutch because oftentimes there's something, there's opportunities and things that are gonna show up and you're gonna have to allow yourself maybe to pivot. Maybe, maybe something big comes up and you don't wanna turn that away because it's a great opportunity. And, if you, and those opportunities don't always come up in the beginning of the year. So when something like that does come up, then you get to look at that, whatever that opportunity is, and then maybe things have to change. But write that down and structure it and then renegotiate with yourself. Oh, this is an opportunity I really want to go down. I wasn't expecting it, but it's going to take this much time. This uh, Maybe this other goal isn't as important anymore, and then you can change. But you don't want to, like I said, don't use this as a crutch or as an excuse. You don't want to be wishy-washy or anything. You really have to sit down and, and, again, renegotiate with yourself. Write that down and say, okay, this other goal, not as important as this new goal, and, and kind of figure out where you're going to go from there. So that's how I just want to start this all off. I'm going to go into my goals. Uh, I'm not going to go into the full SMART goals. I write this stuff down. I create what's called a GAP map, and GAP stands for goals and promises. So it's basically I write all this stuff out as far as you know what I'm going to do by when, you know, and all those steps and everything. And, you know, sometimes I hit them, sometimes I don't, they, these goals. But if you set the goals, you're more likely, you're more likely to at least get closer to them. Um, and a lot of times I do hit a lot of these goals, which is good. And that usually wouldn't happen if I don't have 
if I'm not specific about it. So anyway, let me go into my goals just knowing that I'm not going to tell you exactly when I'm going to do it. And some of these goals are, are things that I'm going to unveil as we get further along in the year. Um, but I'll kind of I'll kind of tease some things a little bit. First off is networking. I want to do, you know, coming off, you know, the, the pandemic and everything. And I got to do a little bit of this last year. But now things seem like they're opening up even more and everything. I mean, pretty much things are open and everything. But, but we were so accustomed to kind of being shut in and everything. Um, I really want to get out more. Um, and, and some of these, like there were, that was my goal before the pandemic that I was going to do this. And now I think is a good time that I can kind of, I can kind of concentrate a little more on that. So, um, and I've been doing a lot of that. I've been meeting with some of my art friends, you know, friends I do the art casters with and everything, uh, meeting them in person. And even sometimes we're still doing like, we just did a little zoom call with, uh, with my co-host Josh and his wife and everything. So it's not only just my art friends, but you know, when, when people travel, we have people come in, we'd like to kind of, you know, it also not only just bring in, you know, my friends, but they're, you know, significant others and things and just, you know, hang out, you know, and, and just get to know people on a more personal level that, that these are the people that I, you know, I work with and, and, and share ideas and all that stuff with, but you know, these are people that I also have a personal connection with. So, um, anyway, so, networking a lot I want to uh, one of those things is creative south which is a um, I, don't, I hesitate to kind of I mean, even this category as networking I hesitate to use that as the term um, because really it is just getting out and knowing people and stuff and networking sometimes sounds a little bit like there's an agenda there um, which it really isn't you just as an artist you like to meet other creative people and those are the people you like to hang around with and and kind of you know, just you know meet as many cool creative people as as you can. So, uh, network or, or sorry, <laughs> Creative South is a is a, an event that happens in um, in Georgia. Um, so I'm looking to go there. I think that's in April, um, and I'm going to try to get as many of my friends <laughs> to see if they can if I can get them to go out there too as well. But if not. You know, we'll do other things where we hang out, you know, either either I'll go to like California or travel. I, I want to do a lot more traveling and stuff. And that's not only a business goal, but a personal goal. Um, uh, and I want to do more like drink and draws, like with the local community here. I've got I've got a lot of artists here locally that I know and I want to try to get together with them. So that and then there's some other artists and things that I haven't really talked to that I want to reach out. So that's a big part. That's what I that's one of the big things that I want to start off is just get you know get out and start meeting more people and everything like that uh, another big goal is rebranding uh, rebranding pretty much everything from the website the newsletter this YouTube channel which is a big there's big changes coming to this YouTube channel um, and that will also affect, you know, like Patreon and um, and maybe social media. I kind of took a, I'm kind of social media right now. I'm I'm not diving into heavily. So whether we get to that point, I don't know. I'm kind of actually enjoying not being on social media all the time. So we'll see. That's kind of up in the air. If, if there's some way I can make it work where it's not it's not a big time commitment or time suck, then I'd like to maybe you know get some maybe do some more like social media posts and things like that but um but yeah so a big kind of rebrand it's not going to be so drastic that it's not like it's not like the mad scientist theme that will still kind of be there but there's going to be some changes there so but you know and those again those changes are going to affect the website and newsletter patreon and, and definitely youtube um so on that note uh, youtube i'm going in i pretty much going in a, a new direction i'm planning on going in a new direction with the youtube channel i've teased this a little bit and, and i will reveal more of this as we go but it's something that is going to appeal to my audience right now you guys i think you're you're still gonna love the content that i'm putting out there but it's also gonna appeal to a broader audience um so so for what it's worth that's kind of <laughs> that's kind of the direction i'm really anxious to to mention it but there's still i've still got to get a few ducks in a row and everything in order to do that um but yeah so i i you know i i really want to want to you know grow this channel and and it's been very steady i've been doing this for a long time and there's something that i want to do that i think there's a lot of potential there that really 
I haven't really seen too many other people doing what I want to do the way I want to do it. Um, and I think it's just going to rejuvenate my interest in YouTube and 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 just putting some really cool content out there. And I think it, I really do think it's going to resonate with people in a way this channel hasn't ha hasn't really been able to do before. So that's really cool. And, and with that, you know, I'm talking about better quality videos, better editing. It'll be kind of faster pace and 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 stuff like that. Let better lighting, sound, more, definitely more engaging. I want it to be a little more interactive. So there's you know it, there's some project kind of it's kind of project based in some ways where I'll be working on something and hopefully other people will be able to do those kind of projects along with me um, which is kind of cool so um, so yeah and I really do want to grow the audience and I uh, honestly I want to make this YouTube channel like profitable because it's it's not really I do this just to put information out there to help people and everything but I think I can do that and also uh, and do it in a way that's gonna actually make it so you know it's it's actually you know it's an income stream and it's something that you know after doing it this long I probably should be at that point already um, but but anyway but but again that's the direction I want to go with YouTube so I'm super excited about that um, and with that uh, is the new studio the new underground lair um, the underground layer right now that you see me, sh you know, shoot from and the intros and everything, it's it's a very confined space, and I want to expand that space and make it bigger. I want to be able to make it a space that's big enough where I can do my live streaming in the same area, do these projects, um, do the intros, and just really do a lot of cool cuts and things like that um, all in one space. So that is, I'm already I'm pretty far along with that. I haven't revealed any of that, what that's gonna look like, but that's in the works and that's gonna play a big role into the new, the new YouTube channel and everything. Um, and like I said, that'll, that'll inform kind of what I do going forward with YouTube and live streams and all that kind of stuff. The other thing that I'm doing is something that I've done in the past a little bit, but I want to build off of that, and that is doing more educational comics. So I've done, last year I did, I did a couple educational comics in the cybersecurity industry, and I've got a partner sort of in that endeavor who is really connected within that industry, and we want to start building a company where we're doing more of these, um, more of these educational comic books using co the comic book medium instead of you know like a lot of these places is just oh here's a PowerPoint presentation something boring like that we want to do something more exciting and make you know make comics that can that can educate and everything um, and I think that's you know I think that really with the popularity of comics and things like that I think that's something that that can really be successful so we're looking into to building that um, and then I think it, I, I we def that's something we could definitely take out even outside of the cybersecurity industry and we've got some really good examples of what we've done so um, I'm really looking forward to building that as a company on the side um, and getting back, here's, here's the next big goal, getting back to working on my comic book, Young and the Dead. So I ran a Kickstarter last year, it was successful for the, the, the fifth issue. The final issue, the sixth issue, I haven't started it yet, but my goal is to start that this year. And I'm gonna kinda do it similar to like the 100 Days of Making Comics, where if you're not familiar with that, that's where you spend 100 days uh, working on your comic for 30 minutes a day every day um, and then usually you vlog about it and and just to hold yourself accountable I probably won't be I, I don't know if I'll be because it would kind of conflict with the direction I'm going with YouTube so I probably won't be sharing videos and things like that but I will be putting in those hours a day um, which if you're just starting out I would advise that you share on social media and do all that but I've done I've done 100 days of making comics what four or five times already so so anyway so so yeah I'm definitely excited about getting back into doing the final issue of Young and the Dead um, and I'm gonna approach it a different way too from a uh, from a production standpoint uh, a while back we had uh, we had an artist Scott lost on the on the art Artcasters channel he's got a method called the slack method um, and it's just a different method for creating comics where you're not it's not like a linear method where you're doing page one page two or or pencils then inks it's kind of you're you're working on everything kind of simultaneously and working on whatever 
whatever you feel like that particular day, what kind of mode you're in. So I'm gonna, that really, it's intriguing to me. And if you wanna know more about that, watch the Art Casters with Scott Lost. It's, I think it's probably on my channel. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna start off doing that. I'm gonna see how that works for me and hopefully it'll be a lot more productive. Um, so speaking of productive productivity and products, uh, digital products and physical products, I want to, um, that is, that's sort of been, I've been pretty successful with the products I've put out there, like the Comic Maker Toolkit and even the free Comic Maker Starter Kit and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I want to do more of those products and the newer products are going to kind of go in line with the new direction I'm going. So still comic, it's still going to have to do with comics, um, but there's going to be there's going to be some other cool stuff so looking to do that and along also with these projects and everything that i'm going to be doing for the new youtube channel and this new direction i'm going um i will be creating some products and i'll probably put those products on for up for sale like physical products as well so excited to to get back into doing more of that um and then and those are those are really the big ones other than that um i had a last year i had a contract with a company doing some really cool work i don't want to get into too much of what that was um but i'm hoping that that that's going to continue um even if it's not like uh before it was like a retainer where i was it was take it was you know a lot of my time dedicated to that um, but even if it's on sort of a you know a less frequent basis I'm hoping that this company is they're just kind of getting ready to launch this product and I'm hoping that I'll get a chance to work on more stuff with them um, and uh, aside from that let's see um, I mean there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, of personal goals you know with health and family and one of the things that I, I'm not going to get too much into that here but one of the, but one of the things that I think really does help with with even the business and everything and just life in general is I started kind of going through the house and the office and and getting rid of things and this purging and kind of going a little more that minimalist route because what i found is the the less stuff you have that you're sort of attached to the more it just kind of feels like it frees you up um so i wanted that's something i want to do more with with just getting rid of just all this stuff that, that kind of holds you down that you don't really need. So um, I'm gonna be diving more into that on sort of a personal level and business, like I said, my home and office, kind of getting rid of all that other stuff and um, and just creating space for some cool, cool new things that, that I wanna do that, that you know, it, it just, it just you're kind of starting that slate clean and everything. So, so anyway, those are my goals for 2023. Um, hopefully, this helped you guys out. I am really looking forward to to getting started on these and and again sharing a lot of this cool stuff that I have planned with you. All right, so there you go. Those are some of my goals for 2023. I am really excited about this new year and all the really cool things that I, that I want to accomplish and I want to get moving on those. So that's where I'm headed right now. But I want to know about you guys. What are your goals for 2023? Have you made them? What are they? Leave them in the comment sections. I'm anxious to check them out and I will see you guys later. That is all. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like what you saw and you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Also, you can follow me at CircWorks on social media. And now you can support the work that I do on Patreon. Do you like making comics? Then go to CircWorks.com and pick up the Comic Maker Starter Kit. It's packed full of fonts, brushes, templates, and more. And best of all, it's totally free.